Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a plan with me February monthly spread. Today is Saturday, February 4th, so I'm a little late in getting this spread started, but I figured it was better late than never. The kit that I am going to be using today is a kit from Firefly Paper Shop, and I swore up and down throughout the month of December and January I was gonna stay away from a kit that had so much pinks and reds and the traditional colors of Valentine's Day, but I saw this in the Firefly paper shop and I just couldn't resist. So I'll take you through what comes in the kit really quickly. Here we have the top header with the February month and then the days of the week. Here is the strip of washi that blocks out the days in January. With this, she also gives you like a little flashback to January. Here you have date dots, some washi, and then some headers. Here's the other half of the days of the week, a bunch of icons, a good amount of payday flags, and then you get a couple of days off, and then you get a sick day as well. She has these really cute appointment labels over here, this kind of like half box for the monthly spread, and then four happy birthday stickers. On this page, you get four full boxes and then four checklists for the sidebar. She also has smaller appointment labels up here and then flags over here. And then on this page, she provides really cute deco, some appointment labels, which I thought she did really, really beautifully. I love the little speckles of gold accents and then the floral print. I think that is really, really cute and a nice touch. You get four Bill Do stickers, a couple of the holidays that are within the month of February, and then the bottom washi to cover out the days in March. Um, and with this, she also does provide a uh, March flash forward sticker. So I'm going to get started with the bulk of the spread and just put down the top stickers and then start working on my sidebar. If you are unfamiliar with the owner of the Firefly Paper Shop, her name is Allison and she I've been following her for quite some time. She used to make, well she still does make beauty videos, but I was um, a big follower of a bunch of the uh, beauty community girls back in the day. I still do watch the videos, but she did have a beauty channel and um, she recently has transitioned to a little bit more of a lifestyle channel, but I really, really love her videos. And as I got involved in the planning community, I had come across one of her videos for her planner stickers. And I was like, I recognize that voice. Turns out it was her. Um, like I said, she transitioned to lifestyle videos, but uh, there's just such like a calming sense about her and her videos. She's just very relaxing to watch. So I really enjoy her channel. I will link it down below so you guys can check it out for yourselves if you like watching those kinds of videos. But when I found out that she made stickers, I immediately ran to her shop and uh, just thought what she the kits that she had created were so so beautiful so I was following it for a little while and um, finally found came across this kit and I was like you know what I definitely have to have it it was just too gorgeous to pass up Okay, while we're over here, I'll get started on the sidebar and just put these down in a row. Okay, while I'm over here, I'm gonna put down this larger strip of washi that blanks out the days in March. And then I'm gonna open up this little March flash forward I'm gonna put over here on the first day of March. Okay, and finally, before we move on to the day to day, I'm just going to pop this up top for the days that show from January on this calendar. Okay. 
Okay, how gorgeous does this look so far? I'm absolutely loving this. And now we can pretty much get into the day to day. Like I said, today is Saturday the 4th, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of back planning, but that's okay. Um, the first, I did have a bill due. And I'm gonna put that down. That's pretty much the only thing that I have to mark on the first. And let's see, Thursday was Groundhog Day, which I don't have anything to mark for that. So I will put it down. The Groundhog did see his shadow. I personally am not upset about it. So six weeks of winter, six more weeks of winter to me is not a big deal. Um, this winter in New Jersey has been very mild, but um, I, I kind of love the cold. <laughs> so I know, I'm, I know I'm one of the only people that really enjoys the cold, but that's okay. And then on the third, I had a couple of things going on. Actually, no, that's, no, I had one thing going on. So yesterday was a friend's birthday and we did go out and have a birthday dinner. So to mark that, I'm not gonna use one of the happy birthday stickers. What I do wanna do, let's see what I have to work with. I want to, I wanna mark it with something like larger than one of these like appointment labels because it was like a bigger event. Um, we had a really nice dinner at a sushi restaurant and um, we had like a private table and everything. So what do I wanna to use to mark that? I do have, I have this sampler from GP Sticker Studio and I'm debating if I wanna use this like half box. I think I might, or I could use the the box with the beauty items around it. I think I'm gonna take that one because it matches the kit a little bit better. And she is, um, she did go to like, she's a nail tech, so I feel like it's appropriate for her. So I'm just gonna pop that in the middle on the bottom because it doesn't exactly quite fit all the way across. There aren't any balloons, but I do have these icons from Planning World and they are gold foiled and I think they'll go with the kit pretty nicely. So I'm gonna take this birthday cake and just pop it up in the corner here. I think that's really cute. And then um, on that day, I also had a bill due. Oh, I'm totally planning for the wrong day. This was Friday, not today. Oopsies. Hopefully this will come out. That came up really easily. Okay, so Friday, last night was the birthday dinner. So we'll just pop that right there. Okay, there. Very, very cute. And then today I had my phone bill due. So I'm gonna take this kind of like burgundy color just to incorporate more of that within the spread. Cause it's very pink and red over here. So I wanna pull some of this color in. Today I also had a dentist appointment, which I'm gonna mark with this little appointment sticker that she provides. And I'm wondering if I wanna put the text over here I think I'm gonna do that. And then I'll use an icon from the kit to mark, or just kind of like make it stand out a little bit. And there's nothing really that indicates a dentist appointment um, other than the stethoscope, but I don't really wanna use that. So I think I'm just gonna take a little asterisk and I'm gonna take this bright pink one that matches the appointment box. I'll just write in the dental appointment in that little space right there. And then on the 5th, that is actually tomorrow is Super Bowl Sunday. So I'm going to take, I'm wondering if I should use one of these larger flags. Uh, we're going to be watching it at a friend of mine's house. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to take the pink one with 
the little gold specks down at the bottom of the flag. And I think I'm gonna just gonna mark it like this. Have it go, actually, let's see. I think I'll put it towards the bottom so the date dot doesn't get in the way. That's pretty much the only thing that's going on tomorrow on the 5th. And do I want to mark it with something? So I'll just take the TV that comes with the kit and Put it right like that okay then on the sixth that is one of my best friend's birthdays uh, and for that I'll use one of the happy birthday stickers and put it down here at the bottom Okay, and I'm gonna put probably a little bit of deco up there just to make it stand out a little bit more uh, since there's really no place to put like extra balloons or anything like that. So I will make that a little bit special later. And then on the 7th, my boyfriend is leaving for a trip and he's coming back the 9th, I think. So I'm gonna pull out the washi that comes with the kit and I think I'm gonna use this lighter pink Drip and just put that down. I'm gonna grab a exacto blade. All right, so like I said, he's leaving the seventh. So what I'm gonna do is put this down right there and just cut that up. And then he is coming back the ninth. My boyfriend has been traveling so much for work. So his like main, their main base is in Massachusetts. So he drives up there almost every month and then he's going away again. I'm just not sure when. So I'm not gonna mark anything for that obviously right now. And let's see. Oh, going back, there is something else I wanted to mark. So I have, what I wanna start doing, let me pull it out. I have, um, any sort of like Kohl's cash or Old Navy cash, I'm going to start keeping my planner and then marking when it goes into effect and then when it expires. So what I'm going to do is, so it goes into effect the 4th, but I got a lot going on that day, so I will note it on the 5th and let's see what I can use to mark that. Um, do I want to pull in another... Yeah, let's pull in another one of these planning world icons and what I think I'm gonna do is pull in this one and I'll use the money sign and I'll just put it over here where should I put it over here I'm going to this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the fifth down right now just so I can get an idea of what kind of space I'll have so we'll just pop that in real quick. Sorry, I was a little out of frame just now. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pop this right here and write in Old Navy Cash on the other side. There. Okay, so Moving back to the 8th, I do have a, another bill due. It's an automatic payment, but I like to mark it anyway. Um, so I'm going to pull in another one of the bill due stickers. And pop it down just right here. And then to mark the going and coming of my boyfriend, I'm going to see if there's any icon I want to pull in. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use the two cars so because he is driving so I'll put this one over here since I have that maroon happy birthday sticker Over there and then there's another one. Here's this like red 
sticker. So I will use this to mark his travels. And then on the 11th, um, I don't, we don't have set plans, but we will most likely celebrate Valentine's Day on this day rather than Tuesday because we both get out of work kind of late. So I think I'm gonna go back to that, this GP Sticker Studio sampler and pull in this glittery half box. Or what I have also, which I might wanna use, you know what, her labels are really cute. So I think maybe I'll use one of these instead. Um, I'll take this like berry appointment label with the floral print and pop that down right here. I'm not exactly sure again if we're gonna be celebrating, but I'll put that down just in case I won't write anything on it just yet. So that's it for that weekend. And then on the 12th is when the Old Navy Cash expires. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take another one of these gold foiled money icons and I'm gonna put it down here just at the bottom and write that in again. So that'll be valid for about a week if I wanna go ahead and spend it. And then let's see. The only other event that I have to mark right now is a meeting on Friday with a bunch of people from work. I don't mark all of my meetings like throughout the week. I'll mark special, well not special, but like we have quarterly meetings that we have um, obviously every quarter. This one is kind of just not a quarterly meeting, but we do have a meeting where we're just gonna get, to get, get together and review some things from January. So to mark that, um, do I wanna use a flag? I think I might want to. Uh, and just write it in the paper, on the paper. So I'm gonna take this bright pink and then the floral, actually no I don't because I used that right there. Maybe I'll take, I'm gonna take one of these really cute appointment labels. This one has like little candied hearts in the background. So instead of using a flag, I'll use this to mark that. I am gonna move it up because I have a feeling my boyfriend's second trip of the month is gonna be within this weekend. So I'm gonna peel it up if I can. And just move it up so I do have room for washi down at the bottom if need be. So I'll just put that in the center and that will work out just fine. Okay. So that is everything that I have pre-planned for this month. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in some of the boxes that are to be used throughout the kit. I think what I'm gonna do, I don't think I want to mark any of the other holidays, except Valentine's Day, obviously. Like she has a President's Day one. Uh, do I wanna use it? I could always put it over the full box, but I'll put that to the side right now. I'm gonna take the Valentine's Day sticker and just pop that up there. I'm gonna hold off on using this one because this month filled out pretty nicely. One of my biggest fears is always like ha having no plans whatsoever. Okay, my camera cut out, so I'm not exactly sure where I left off talking, but um, I'm just gonna put this one full box back because like I may have said and you may have heard, but this month is pretty even for the most part. I feel like my monthly spreads, I always have like a cluster of everything going on over here or over here. So this is pretty even and I'm going to leave it like this for now because I don't wanna overdo it and just see where this month takes me. What I am gonna do is go ahead and put some headers over the appointment, I'm sorry, not the appointment, on the um, check boxes for the sidebar. So let me pull those out if I can find them. Here they are. Okay, so 
what I am going to unfortunately start keep tra keeping track of finances. Um, my boyfriend and I are in the process of building a modular home. So there's a lot of expenses that I need to keep track of, unfortunately. Um, and just watch my spending because oh, these can actually get centered. Um, because obviously owning a home is rather a big deal and I want to start budgeting a little bit better and just being more aware of what comes out of my account because I also, which I don't mark in here, which I should, like my gym membership comes out automatically. I have like a PayPal and things like that that come out automatically as well. So um, I'll start keeping track of that down there. And I think I will mark events as well. Also, what else do I want to mark? Oop, I have like doggy hairs all over. <laughs> um, I could do a next month. That might be good to keep track of. Um, but what else do I want to mark? I only have one birth, well, I have two birthdays, but I don't really think I need to mark that elsewhere maybe i'll just do like an important <clears throat> yeah i will do next month at the bottom and then important here i really enjoyed using this kit she there was a lot to work with and like I could definitely use these within other spreads. Like I think this is a very functional and versatile kit. So I'm really, really happy that I went with this and it's so, so gorgeous. I'm having trouble like centering these because they don't like fit exactly within the box. Okay, I think that's as straight as it's going to get. I'm gonna really quickly go in and pop on the date dots and then I think I'm gonna go in with some deco and see where I can spruce things up a bit. Okay, so the date dots are on and I did go in with the um, few pieces of deco that came with the kit and just scattered some around. I'm gonna go ahead and fill everything out really quickly and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, here is the completed spread filled out and I have to apologize. I uploaded all of the footage up until this point of the video and realized that the section before this did come out a little blurry, so I do apologize about that. But here is a clearer picture of the final spread with everything filled out. I did have to go in and replace this birthday box because the GP Sticker Studio stickers are on vinyl and I've never used them before and I didn't have any pens that agreed with the sticker. So unfortunately, this is what it ended up looking like and I got ink all over my beautiful foiled sticker cake. But anyway, um, I did just replace that with a box that came with the kit. And really quickly, I am going to take you through what I have left of the kit. I have three page flags, three appointment labels, and a full box left on this page. I have a full strip of washi and some headers, a bunch of the icons, a few payday stickers, a sick day, and a day off flag. I have three birthday boxes, a couple of appointment labels, and I do just wanna mention that I did go in and mark my paydays within the kit when I went to go write everything out. And finally, I have a bunch of these page flags or appointment labels left with the flags on the left side of them, a bill due sticker and a couple of date night stickers. I am going to be using these in my kit that, um, or my weekly spread that you probably will have already seen by now, but I am gonna be able to utilize these again. Um, so she does give you a lot to work with and I do have quite a bit left over. So I'm definitely going to be getting my use out of this kit. I really, really, enjoyed this kit and working with it. This is my first time working with a, um, a kit, let alone a monthly kit from Firefly Paper Shop. So I really, really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye everyone.